Now, here's a quick one that proves once again why you never, ever mess with another man's car. And this guy's now ex-girlfriend learns exactly why. Title. My girlfriend sold my car because of a petty argument. I am now suing her. It says here, uh, so for a bit of context, my girlfriend and I have known each other for around four years, but started dating in, during 2021. <coughs> that car has been passed down for generations. By the way, it is a 1972 Ford F100. My grandpa owned it, then passed it down to my dad, and then passed it down to me. I don't drive it too often, as I do have my own car, but I use it for work. Recently, we've gotten into an argument over me not taking care of our two cats. The thing is, I spent almost all day working and the rest of it rusting. So what did she do? She got the pickup truck, went to a junkyard, and sold it. That over that? Now he said because he, she claimed he wasn't taking care of the cats. Well, I'm a cat person, so it immediately caught my attention. Well, you're going to find out that, yes, he does take care of the cats. It's just that she wants more of his attention. And guess what? She's at home all the time. But stole his car. This is Grand Theft Auto. And sold it to a junkyard for probably nothing. Keep in mind, this truck was in pristine condition. When I got back home from the bar, I noticed the pickup wasn't there. I asked her and she told me what she did. I honestly packed up my things, my cats, and told her we were done and left. I've been getting calls from her, her family, and friends every day calling me names. Am I in the wrong? Hell no, she stole your car. She stole your car and sold to a junkyard. And by the way, I'm curious, immediately curious upon reading this, where's the title? Whenever a car is sold, whether it's donated to a charity or to a scrapyard, junkyard, or sold to somebody else, there has to be a title exchange and signatures and all that. So what's the deal there? And what junkyard is it? And he's the bad guy here? She stole his property. End of story. So lawsuit and call the police. Now, with an update here, he says, thanks all for the advice and support. Two things. I've talked to my lawyer, who is my cousin. He said I could have a solid case if this goes to court. But honestly, after all the shit I've been through, I want my pickup back and some more for what has happened. I doubt the police are going to do anything after a couple of bad experiences I've had with them. My ex came knocking on my door. I ignored her, and I don't want anything to do with that B anymore. My dad also got the news and was super sad considering the truck was pretty much the family breadwinner for about 30 years. Cars have been in the family for all those years. It's a big, important thing from grandpa to dad, now him. And this crazy a-hole does that. And she knew darn well how important this thing was to her. But as the saying goes, be words be crazy. Next update, he says, thanks for the advice again. I've now filed a police report for the stolen F-100. There you go. I hope I... I, I I have hope it can be done. I'm also doing a bit of my own research, driving to a couple of nearby junkyards, but I doubt I'll find it on my own. I hope we can find the old green F-100 that we love so much. Next update. The F-100 has been found. Hallelujah. On a nearby junkyard by a friend. Thanks for all the support, guys. Next update. He says, so people have been asking these things, so I feel like I should clarify. Number one. It's not like I didn't take care of the cats at all. I did. She doesn't work. I put the bread on the table and she gets the house chores done. That's how we managed it, which is why I feel like this was petty. She has no freaking job. She can take care of the cats' litter boxes and feeding the cats. He works. He brings home the bacon. End of story. She just be a little freaking asshole. I went to the bar to hang out with a friend that night I had not seen in five years. I don't drink heavily or often. The signature was forged by my girlfriend. And from what I know at the moment... The junkyard guy took it because it was a $9,600 profit. The junkyard opens at 12.30 a.m. today, and since it's currently 5 a.m. here, I'm going to have to wait for it for a while. As you may be able to tell, today was quite a crazy day. I haven't gotten one minute of sleep. So, she stole the car, forged a signature. Oh, she's in trouble. And one can also dig into the junkyard's records as well if they really want to do that. Next update, he says, I have the truck back. Awesome. The F-100 is actually back. I did have to pay the $400 back, though, to get it, and it's not as good as it was before. Yeah, well, she'll be paying for that. It's really dirty, probably from driving to the junkyard, which is pretty dirty. And the bodywork that was once pristine is now damaged. It has a huge scratch on the paint job. It was a really sharp key or something. She probably keyed it because the bodywork is now ruined. It started flash rusting, which is not really good. 
The paint is ruined. The truck itself isn't as great as before. I can tell she broke the brake fluid line as well because the brakes are running badly. And he says, good news, Lou. My girlfriend has been charged with a C1F for Grand Theft Auto and fined $5,000. Don't worry, though. I will still follow through with the lawsuit. Good. I would sue her for every fucking penny it's going to cost you to have that truck repaired and all the time you put into that. And let's just say some emotional distress and anything else you can throw on there that your lawyer can come up with. The lawyer who's his cousin. And she deserves it. Now, the odds are she'll probably get off with a freaking slap on the wrist because she's a girl. Guaranteed she'll cry to the fucking judge or whatever and that'll be the end of that. But the point is she'll probably get some community service if we're lucky here. But if not, hey... Let her do six months in jail. That'd be pretty freaking hilarious. But she's got to pay up every freaking penny. But again, over the whole... And I get you. It's, I, I bet you it was not really about the cats. I'm sure it was something else. And she's one excuse. And she knew exactly how important that vehicle was to him. There you go. 